Fitch. Can't manage the other thing. Transition. I do like the transition button, though. So there we are, fading into existence in the wonderful world of Twitch. Hello, good evening, and welcome to Garblag Games. We exist. We're here. Um, a game is actually happening. Behold, I have players and everything. This I'm is totally organized. Challenged. <laughs> Just a regular Dean Carp like with that. Hey, look at that. We got a subscription as well. We'll be on a hype train in no time. Yeah, that was Hoorah. Yeah, I know it was you. So, hello, we're gonna do a one shot D D tonight. Um I've given my players permission to create a third level D D character of their choosing. Uh initially I said, No, no, you're only doing this with the player's handbook, and then all of them came back with, but I've had this really cool idea, and I went, Yeah, go on. Now. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. Because that's crazy. how we roll. Yeah. And we all did it independently. That's <laughs> 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 yeah. So I'm gonna get them to introduce themselves and their characters and let you know what's coming up. So let's go along the top line. So Aaron, sure. you're first on the top line. Hey everybody, I'm Aaron, and I am playing Harvey, a Fey Wanderer Ranger Herengon, which is the Rabbit Folk from uh, the Witchlight book. Uh, and he is a uh, he's a Fey Lost background, uh, chaotic good, and always smells of nutmeg and cinnamon, no matter how stinky he should be. We have a cookie bunny. A cookie bunny. A cookie bunny. All right, next up we've got Aldoon, once he finishes laughing. Hello. Sorry, it was a good evil laugh. It was. I was on mute. Um, I was not on mute, it sounds like. And I'm loving the cooking, buddy. Oh, it's going to get even worse now. Uh, hello! <laughs> I will be channeling the ghost of Brian Blessed. Don't tell me he's not dead. Um, I don't think uh, that matters with Brian Blessed. You can channel him anyway. I will be channeling Brian Blessed. I will be playing Darius Kincaid. Uh, the tiefling barbarian, because I, I seem to be having a thing for tieflings at the moment, but it just amused me so much. Uh, he's big, he's red, he's got massive sable horns. And uh, somehow he's, he's escaped from Ravenloft. Big shiny, he has indeed, <laughs> big shiny uh, kopesh, uh, and he's just here to see the sights and not harvest souls at all. No, yeah. no, his <laughs> mistress Zariel has just given him a holiday. Not at all. <laughs> conscripting people so, i believe you thousands no me. not happening switching to you the next line is jim da, da, da. hello i'm jim and i'm playing fungal barkskin who is a uh dwarf druid of the spores um basically brought up by wolves he got lost as a, a baby fell off the back of a cart and uh He's very dirty, very raggedy, and stinks of earth and poo. And poo <laughs> Just in and case earth. you weren't sure. Yeah. I, like, I like that it sounded like you were going, of earth, not poo. But then you went, and poo. <laughs> yeah, poo. Yeah. Yeah. Not poo. Yeah. Uh, and yeah. the good news is that uh, Jim is confirmed that a Watitao is still on for tomorrow as well. So you can finally find out what happened in the second half of their little fight there. So stay tuned tomorrow for that. Somebody little just fight. built a mountain range in um, chat with little oh, hypey bits. That's cool. Yeah. Uh, Leon. Leon's here. Hi, I'm Leon. And I I didn't go for anything crazy adventurous. I did just stick to the player's handbook because I'm a good boy. So I'm playing uh, Fenny, a half-elf sorcerer sage, who's very, um, very bookish, not really up for all this aggression stuff, more, more a bit sneaky, and uh, just a bit like, mm, very socially awkward, not, not, not good at conversations, good at putting his foot in it. So uh, we'll see how well he gets on with um, a dwarf that was brought up by wolves. Oh, a socially awkward character who's good at putting his foot in it. <laughs> I think he might be poaching on. I'm not sure I'm role playing. <laughs> no. Hi. Hi. Uh, I'm no. I'm playing Ness, a cobalt rogue, but I, it's the subclass thief. He steals from the rich and gives to the poor, but he's only ever done it once, and he he failed. So he's, 
His thieving career is not off to a great start. So you haven't actually stolen from the rich or given to the poor. Yeah, he's not actually stolen. Like, Just to be I'm, clear. Yeah, he gave he, the he poor loads of IOUs before yeah. he went to fail the robbery. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, yeah, he had to learn the hard way that unfortunately guards and guard dogs actually can find you quite easily if you're not very good at hiding, which he he is not. He's not. Okay. No. Stole from the rich, gave back to the rich, and went to prison. Wait, didn't <laughs> steal from the rich. So oh, our, okay, our game is going to be um, a sort of setting neutral little environment. Uh, one of the things I said to them at the start when we were doing this, is, right, it's just going to be a one shot. So I don't want to bog everybody down with loads of law. So instead, um, here's a nice simple prompt. Why did the people of Southdown throw you in the pit? So they've all got a reason. No, yours was... Um, thievery. Thievery. Bad, bad, cool. bad thievery. Yeah. Well, that's how I didn't get executed. They were like, oh, God, he's so shit, though. Just throw him in the pit. Just throw him in the not, pit. Yeah, it's not even worth it. Leon, why did you get thrown in a hole? Sort of a case of mistaken identity. I broke into, or Fenny broke into a noble's house to try and look at some old, wonderful tome there. But unbeknownst to Fenny, the noble's spouse was having an affair. And the noble knew about it and came home that day to catch who was in the house having an affair with their spouse. And then the actual affairer was hiding in a cupboard. And so Fenny was found and blamed. And then the noble uh, pulled some strings to have Fenny thrown in the pit. I was actually hoping that he just gets angry at you because you saw it. It's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. <laughs> I'm going to kill that guy, but you, you're going in the pit for... for... <laughs> no, but I like yours better. It's, it's... Now, now it's right. probably not difficult to work out why the ever-subtle Darius Kincaid got thrown in a pit, but let's find what? out just to be sure. I'm on holiday! <laughs> All right, all right. Thank you background for sounding a little bit like the plot to Legally Blonde 2. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Darius Kincaid has been thrown in the pit, possibly by the local priest, because they don't particularly appreciate the fact he's trying to poach their flock. Um, also, possibly because he kind of fancied, mm, I don't know, seeing who was in the pit, making some new friends. <laughs> Fair. Uh, ba -ba -ba. Jim, why are you in the pit? Because um, I happened to soil one of the town elders' beds while I was in beast form. Um, I forgot where I were. I went to sleep in my own uh, mess as well afterwards. Yeah, and was caught. <laughs> um, yeah. What was so, beast form? I need to know. Um, a ferret, it was at the time. <laughs> oh, okay. It's quite small. I was imagining yeah. something much larger with a heavier <laughs> load. <laughs> um, yeah, we, 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 well, could, no, we could have done a bear poo, but uh, well, no. It's because it was small that they got into bed thinking it was going to be clean, and then they put their head down. They're like, ah, oh, yeah. oh, <laughs> oh, no, bear no, poo no, in no, the air. Denial on the head there, yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> put, put the foot in the bed, and it's scraped through the toes and everything. You know, oh. it's yeah. Oh, and Aaron, why did Harvey get thrown so in the pit? Harvey was, uh, he was working as a courier uh, for the Fay courts, for the summer court, and he was given uh, an order to uh, go to the city at the center of the plains uh, to pick up something for one of the Fay lords. And he went to uh, one of the gate stones, but used the wrong key to the gate stone. And instead of going where he was supposed to go, he ended up in this town. The first thing he saw was this woman and child being accosted by this thug. So he walked up to the gentleman and reversed his, uh, reversed his rapier and popped him on the head with, uh, with the pommel stone and, and down they fell and went. He saw the young lady and the baby off and then he helped the gentleman up because, you know, he wanted to be polite only to find that the man was actually a constable for the town. And well, into the pit, Harvey went. A rookie mistake. Now the pit is a big anomaly near the town of Southdale, and nobody's entirely sure how it works. The sides are weirdly greasy and strangely angled, making it impossible to climb out of. And being thrown in the pit, it's it's like one of those big wells in Mexico. I forget what they're called. Arroyos? Cenotes. Cenotes. Those are the ones, yeah. So it's got a great big entrance and you get thrown in there and you don't plummet to your death. You fall quite slowly, almost as though you're under the effect of a feather fall spell. 
But when you get to the bottom, you find that the walls are all greasy and slick and it's really hard to get out of. So down at the bottom of the pit, you've, the five of you find yourselves having all been thrown in at much the same time. You're at the bottom of this pit. It's dusty. It's not wet. The ground isn't too unpleasant. There's no bones or anything that suggests this is a terminal drop. And you fell for quite a while, so it's not like you plummeted to any kind of injury. So you pick yourselves up and dust yourselves off and look around and see these other people there as well. Hello! Why, I... Why, hello to you too as well. And what of the lower plains do you come from, my large red horned friend? Well, I don't think we know it other well enough yet my fine long-eared bunny friend <laughs> bunny that's a bit of a misnomer i do understand that the mundanes have an animal similar in appearance but i am in fact a heron gone looks like a rabbit oh, hops like is, a rabbit this is this is to this is to leon's character <laughs> sorry i forgot you uh, fanny sorry i i just read it on the zoom it's like hey uh there seems to be like a big rabbit and like a really big red you can see them too right i can see them too oh, okay. the, yes no they're, they're definitely real my okay. short dragon like friend yes. is there anyone else here in, in the hole uh at the minute you can see uh, jim what what form are you in are you still in ferret form or are you back in no, no I'm, I'm back in dwarf form and I'm I'm looking around that something smells bad, and I'm looking at the other four people in in, in the hole. This one of them stinks. It's that bunny with his nutmeggy weirdness. Mm. And cinnamon. Don't forget the cinnamon. Yeah. <laughs> and while, while you're standing there and looking around, uh, a I'm door just between the ears now. Just <laughs> a, a door opens mm. in one wall of the Ooh. the pit. And a goblin with an umbrella comes through, and that some of the grease falls onto the umbrella and sort of dribbles off the sides. And he comes out and he sort of looks at you, and he looks around, and he kind of shrugs, goes back through the door and closes it behind him. We're going to go bang on the door. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> So the, the door opens a crack and there's a little chain in the crack. Uh, and this, this goblin about three feet below you, looking out at your knees. And he kind of looks up. And says, what? Hello. Hello. When is the room service? Room service? Do you have coin? Yes. Uh, one minute. And he closes the door and you hear the chain rattling. The door opens up again. Come in, come in. Can I actually fit through the door? It's a squeeze for you, but yes, you, you can fit through. And you, you pop through into some kind of small shop. Uh, there's this, this goblin, and he's got a little crossbow. There's another goblin stood on a barrel behind a big counter. And then all around the room, there's... Barrels of weaponry, racks of clothes, sets of backpacks. It, it looks very much like a sort of second-hand charity shop style venue. And some ill-fitting tweed and old man's trousers. <laughs> what nice charity shops you go to. Oh, yeah. Copy oh, of I'm going to stick my head back out to the door and go, Oh, I say, ill-fated companions of the greasy hole. Uh, there appears to be a shop. Well, to us. I'll come back in. That sounds quite interesting. And we seek will... refreshments and nibbles. I'm going to awkwardly try and hold like a cloth over my head to not get grease dripping on me because I saw the. Yeah, there's kind of these up. plops of grease coming down off of, off oh, yeah. of the door frame as you go through. It's not yeah. impossible to avoid them completely. I'm and going you... to lick the door frame. Does it taste of anything nice? No, um, <laughs> it, it tastes like slightly off. Goat dripping. Ooh, tasty. <laughs> I'll go back for some of that. <laughs> Something smells fetid here. I mean, it's that goblin. Fetid goblins. 
No, no, fetid goblins don't live here. Fetid goblins live on the other side of town. Harvey... Harvey looks at one of the goblins and then speaks in goblin and, and asks him, oh, my good sir, I... By the way, my name is Harvey. It's a pleasure to meet you. I am looking for the quickest way mm, out of this uh, mundane dirt hole and uh, and back uh, back up topside. I've uh, I've managed to lose my way, and I pulls out his, his his pocket watch, and I'm losing time, and I've got to get back on my job. Hmm. Hmm. Yes. Well. Uh... Well, you, you have choices. Uh, through the gift shop, you can go... I mean, we, through the gift shop is the front. You go through the gift shop, and then you choose um, the three path. Uh, and then you go down one of the three path, and if you make it to end of the three path, then there is other gift shop and exit. I have questions. You said make it. Yes. Why would we not make it? Oh, uh, you know. Um, a hole in space-time, big corridor full of monster and trap. Oh, home! Oh. Mm. Okay. It does does sound like a party that uh, the Unseelie Court might throw, but mm. I'm game if that's the only way through. Yes, yes, some fairy come through. Uh, they, they like play this game. They not just come and get us? some point in the next hour or so? No, no, no. Fenny, is this your... F Fenny is Fenny, isn't it? Sorry, yes. we weren't properly introduced as we fell down the hole. <laughs> You're going, oh, I'm Fenny. Why is it <laughs> taking so long to fall? <laughs> it's magic. Magic. You, rem you, you smell yes. of magic. I do like the idea that we're all um, picked up by the scruff of our necks and thrown <laughs> in at the same time. <laughs> You, you have the, the whiff of wild magic about you. Yes, I'm quite talented. Mm. The, the goblin behind the counter pipes up and says, I give you special offer half price. Also, what? don't talk to him. He is idiot. You want answers, you talk to me. I well, believe I've right. seen this before. One of them will only speak in truths, while the other always lies. I'm gonna so pick I surmise there is no half price off for today. <laughs> I'm going to pick up one of them. The handiest one. That, that'd be the one right up. by the door there with you. He I'm kind of dangles from your arms. He's still holding you his the crossbow. One that lies? Uh, Think carefully. If I say no and I lie... I will suspect it as a lie. But if I say yes... And I, I lie. will also suspect it as a lie. Okay, so sometimes. That's quite clever for a goblin. <laughs> oh, Look, my, my, job is, my job is go outside, pick up stuff dropped by people, carry in, put in shop. His oh. job is uh, sell and do a uh, guidebook. Someone get a uh, guidebook. A guidebook sounds like an excellent idea. If I'd only had a better planar key map, I probably wouldn't be here in the first place. Uh, uh, so you want to buy a guidebook? Oh, I, that's what's in the guidebook before we uh, commit to. Guidebook contains complete set of instruction for whole of uh, mystery maze on other side of three doors of death. I, three doors of way out. <laughs> no, you said death. Harvey's, Harvey's rabbit ears droop down. He's like, uh, and what language is your guidebook in? Uh, guidebook is available in uh, Goblin. Uh, yeah, Goblin. Well, it oh. just so happens that I speak and read Goblin, so perhaps so, we so will be I, okay. Yeah. Oh, I, I have a well, goblin yes. here who can translate. <laughs> no, I can't read. <laughs> I'll just bang him off the wall then. Oh. Not oh. useful. My no, dear, no. my dear red friend, it's no no need to be so rough with the help. They like they've been, it. They've been quite pleasant so far. Okay. They don't feel pain. It's yes, fine. They do. 
<laughs> That's the one that lies, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> it's lying. I, Ignore him. I really Bang. hope they're not magically enchanted to always lie, because that would suck. It's like, do you want some ice cream? No. Oh, well, none for you. Oh. <laughs> uh, hmm. Okay, so what, well, is the, what is the cost of this guidebook? Uh, depends. You want one for just you or one for everyone? We oh, well, I, I don't think everybody share? speaks Goblin. I, I think we could share. Yeah, it's one. Okay, so is four for share, four gold piece for share guidebook, and if only buy for not share, one gold piece. Excellent. I will buy it for not sharing. Mm. <laughs> very clever. Let others take risk. You're very clever, bunny man. Uh, that's Heron Gone. Heron Gone, not not Bunny Man. Okay, you you're here. It wrong. And you buy it's guidebook bunny. and then you go. Bunny. <laughs> yeah, I'm uh, gone. my my large devilish friend. You do make me chuckle. Technically not a devil. Uh, so demon? Yet. Abyssal? Uh, well, abyssal I will accept, yes. So for for one gold you, you buy and let others take potluck chance. There's a Wait, pot. Question. Absolutely. Question. Do we do we get to share once we buy it? No, because then you would have to pay four golds for share with each. Oh, well, then we're not going to share it. Absolutely not. No, but you no, want no. something from pot as well. There is pot. Oh, is there pot? Where's the pot? Uh, pot is over by fire. Okay. For make stew. Stew. Okay. Not the other kind of pot. No. Good no. to clarify early. Yes. Do you have the other kind of pot? Because it was a long fall. Yes. Where is that one? Uh, that is that is what food is cooking in. No, it's not what I meant. Oh, you mean like pot of water as well? No. Uh, pot to for make plant? water. Make water. Excuse me. Oh, you... potty. <laughs> uh, yes, I suppose that's how you say it in Goblin. No, sorry, have commode. <laughs> that sounds and, and he pulls out this delicate porcelain bowl carefully inlaid with a golden rim oh, it is beautiful yes but can you afford pot to piss in how much uh, for this uh, is five... it worth your friend's ears no his ears are ugly um, but true. if you give me five gold I will sell you pot to piss in I don't want to buy it I want to rent it uh, are these two goblins um like uh distracted enough for me to try and pull for a, a guide book <laughs> well one of them I'm is holding do, I'm the doing guide my book. best i'm holding the other one the, you're holding the other one one of them's holding a guidebook in one hand and a piece and a in the other yeah is there any guide books on any sort of desk or table no, he pulled it out from under the desk i mean you could try and sneak around and get one from under the desk yeah no, for it. I'm, I will carry on being an. Yeah, arse. you know you've got a D and D party when they're refusing to pay for a guy. <laughs> not pay for anything. <laughs> Har it's Harvey Harvey does pull out a gold piece, puts it in his hand, takes the one copy of the, the guidebook, and hands it over to Ness. He's like, "I'm not sharing. I'm giving. Here you go." Yes. <laughs> yes. Oh, you're I'll, very I'll, kind. I'll, well, yeah, I'll put I'll put my hand like I'm giving him gold, but I'm not. I'm just it's an empty <laughs> hand. Uh, I was I was gonna say I, I I like the idea that you're like what you you're not gonna buy something at a gift shop no my parents ingrained in me from an early age we don't go <laughs> and buy anything from the gift shop ever Yay! Oh. I always forget that D and D goblins don't look like like generic mainstay <laughs> goblins they're not green or they're not or, Lord of the Rings you know, goblins they're, no, they're, they're actually kind of cool now yeah they're fun I like them. They're a lot cooler than they used to be. Uh, I have much gold if anyone would like to mortgage their soul. Mm, it's an interesting proposition, Darius, but I believe that uh, the Summer Court already holds my soul. So I'll have to pass. And that oh, and I already have I, a fair amount of gold already. Well, I enjoy finding a way to get you to say yes. <laughs> and the rest of you. Do any of you find yourselves lacking in gold or purpose or a, a life's path that 
I might help facilitate. Jim, what, what, what are you like doing? That. Can you yeah? overthrow capitalism? I'm flexing my pecs at this point. <laughs> well, what, did, what does gold do for, for someone then? Because it can't help you eat. It can't help you... Uh, uh, shit, it can't help you piss. My fine fungal friend, I think the goblins would argue that it can help you piss, or at least piss <laughs> into something that is pretty. Yes, for five gold you can piss in this. No, well, well, why not piss against a tree? Uh, or no, just no the floor. Here. If you Gonna want trees, it. you have to go in path number that one. Yeah. Well, you don't, don't point... piss in thorny bushes, though. Also, it could be a little bit spiky. <laughs> no, certain leaves one must not wipe oneself with, I believe. I'm going to look over Ness's shoulder at this book that I can't read. <laughs> so th this book that you can't read, uh, it kind of, it's it's like a pamphlet, but it folds mm -hmm. out like a, a theme park yeah. map. Yeah. Um, I, I can't read Goblin, that's what does it say. That there's, there's a little box in the bottom corner. Okay. Um, which says gift shop on it okay. in yeah. Goblin. And then there are three paths you are here. <laughs> leading out of the gift shop. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and the, the first path says big traps and then is colourfully illustrated with a, a range of traps. Okay. Um, pictures of traps as drawn by, by a goblin. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, then the middle path it's um, Goblin Town, and there, there's okay. a picture of a town with some happy goblins. Okay. Um, and then some kind of giant crab monster oh. behind the town. Uh, and then the last one... I like path two. <laughs> the, the last Over one the says um, Stinky Goblin, Kobold Town. Oh, okay. Uh, and it has a, a very derogatory picture of some kobolds. Oh. Uh, and a fancy carpet. Okay. The fancy carpet looks like it's flying. Hmm. Okay. Looking at it got this. little whooshy lines behind mm -hmm. it. I I like I, I do like the idea that I'm now just imagining it's a small small world for the goblins, and then, but there's a giant crab terrorizing them. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's a lovely ride. I like <laughs> giant crab. So, actual giant crab? Yes. Uh, a terrifying giant crab man likes to catch and eat goblin. Mm. Well, I have a goblin, so we could feed it goblin, and yeah. then we get past. Yes? Uh, Is it... No, Darius, it's just not good. It's not right. No, no, we, we shouldn't feed sentient people to other things. It's I'm not just... sure he's sentient. Are you sentient? Yes. You lie! He lies! <laughs> Wait, feed no. the monsters though. They become very dependent on you, so you should never feed the monsters. Otherwise, they get too used to uh, sentient beings feeding. Oh, and then the mother monster won't accept the monster back into nest. I have heard this. Oh, interesting. interesting. Yes. Well, I'm I'm happy to go down any of the paths. I'm very good at disarming traps, uh, and I'm I've yeah. You're only good I can... at disarming kobolds. So we have trapping uh, trap trap. Yes. We have giant crab for dinner, and we have going home for Ness. Hmm. I mean, I, I don't mind going into the Goblin Town. At Goblin Town. Yeah, Cobalt. Goblin Town, Cobalt Town, or Traps. I'm happy with all three. I'm less keen on the Traps myself. Mm. Must be said. I, I do have a sharp eye. Shop, I... Shopkeeper Goblin says, you, you could always split up if you want. There is enough path for all of you. No, I like I like the idea. It's like yes, each of you can take one path each, but there's four. <laughs> okay. One of you must die first. <laughs> well, I guess they could stay in the gift shop. <laughs> oh well, so yeah. Uh, so yeah, well, shall we? Shall we pick one and be about our business? I know that I'm late, as I've said already. Late. Which late, which late. path shall we? But take? before you go, you need to buy provision. Why? Well, you know, uh, is going to maze uh, is difficult and dangerous and have lots of provision in gift shop. I already have some pocket mealworms that I can eat. I need this uh, man. But do you have, and he, he darts down behind the, the counter and he pops back up, wooden sword. 
No, uh, no, I have I, a very nice metal rapier. Yeah, I have yeah. steel kopesh. Technically, yes. I don't, but, but I do have. Can sword. you stab vampire in heart with metal? Who mentioned vampire? I did not. I did not hear vampire. In Nobody this mentioned of vampire. Of... Nobody mm. mentioned vampire. Well, that is why you need wooden sword. Your guidebook very bad. No, there is no vampire in here. <laughs> ah, well, is... then I think. But if you meet one later, you will wish you had wooden sword. It, do you have anything that it will give us a commemoration of falling in the pit, like a snow globe or, or a, a or badge. some kind of bauble, like some sort of T-shirt that says "I fell in the pit <laughs> with stupid" and then an <laughs> arrow? <laughs> you think there's market for this? Yes. Har Harvey points down at his very colorful patchwork jacket, and he goes, "Or perhaps a." patch that I can incorporate into my jacket it, it tells this tale of my life. Southdale pit some sort I, of hole I fell down this I fell down this pit and all I got was this stupid <laughs> shirt. Yes uh, I, I think we, we, we have found hole in market. You're very helpful people Oh, thank, oh, you. thank you. We will take discount. For this uh, I, I give you wooden sword for free and he oh, offers this you. wooden sword to Harvey uh, thank you. That is, uh, it's, that's very kind of you, I must say. Is it, is it a two by four, just with a <laughs> nail to me? Yes. Do, do you have any ten foot poles? Yes, have ten foot pole. Okay, I will take ten foot pole. Okay, uh, could you please put door guard goblin down for ten foot pole? Mm. Darius, you probably should. Oh. Okay. <laughs> okay, they, they in ten foot pole barrel. Thank you. I'll go well, past the one foot pole, the five foot pole, <laughs> yeah. ten foot pole. Okay. Oh, yeah, there's only ten foot poles. One foot poles. <laughs> there's also the metric poles. We're but ignoring them like, because they're heresy. Well, they're, they're, they're two five foot poles that they've super glued. Uh, you need 50 foot hemp and rope or 50 foot silk and rope. Oh, how much for silk and rope? Uh, is, what, 30 silver, I think? <laughs> no, I'm fine okay, yes. with my coarse hemp and rope. It is rough on my palms, but pff, I am a demon. Okay, well, it's pleasure. Uh, very well. Time has come for you to choose path. And he reaches back and he rings a bell. Ding, ding, ding. Not always ring bell before people go into path. Ah. I was oh, thinking Cobalt. Okay. Hey. I was waiting for something to happen. That's very interesting. We, we fancy Cobalt Town. Okay. Cobalt Fungle, Town Path. Fungal Dwarf, what do you think? Oh, uh, well, uh, I don't really know. Um, I, I'm do you happy to follow you, Mr. According Dibble. to the guide, the Cobalt will smell quite like you. I think I th I think that's the goblin's own art artistic interpretation, and I don't. I well, I think yeah, considering they've drawn like bear traps and the traps, but they've just drawn bears, and then they've wrote the word trap next to them. I don't know. I feel, I I don't know. I don't know what to make of some of this. It's a bit confusing. I think cobalt done. Okay, let's be about it then. If nothing else, we can go cobalt bowling. Very good choice. No. Very good choice. Cobalt bowling. Uh, I was wondering very, where I'd very, see you from. Nice. Okay, so so here you go, and he opens a cupboard. That is not a door. Well, door. I mean, it is a door, but to a cupboard. Yes, door door to cupboard leads to Cobalt Town. Is Cobalt sized door for Cobalt Town? You oh, need okay. better special effects. Look, you can crawl through. Yeah, I'll, I'll go through. I don't like crawling. Uh, so crawl so Ness actually door. fits. Oh yeah, oh, through the door. Like this is Ness. perfectly Ooh. sized for Ness. Ness is like, yeah, yeah it's a door, and mm. you, you stroll through, and there's this sort of weird wobbly effect as you're going mm. through, and the the cupboard starts to sort of circle out a little bit. So it starts off as like a regular cupboard, and then the wood of the cupboard merges into like a rocky tunnel, which becomes a tube-like structure and then pops out of the mouth of a cave into a, a little 
clearing which is full of tents and wooden poles okay can i can i still see the entrance so that i came through uh, it's just slightly around the corner so you can't see the entrance from the entrance to the cave okay but and can you can't like... see the entrance to the cave from the entrance to the cupboard okay that makes sense i will say i'll i'll, I'll experimentally go hey guys it's safe do they well i guess i won't know but rv turns back to the others and he's like I cannot tell you the number of cabinets I've had to crawl through to get from one place to another, so this really isn't all that odd. And then you hear he... Ness shout, hey guys, it's safe. <laughs> and Harvey goes right after him. I do have an idea that's an economical way for a spellcaster. I just put it in the cupboard, put the interdimensional portal in the cupboard. <laughs> the cupboard's there. Saves us building the door, so, yeah. Any so yeah, Harvey, you follow him through, and much the same, the wooden cupboard turns into this stone tunnel tube that pops out in this narrow cave mouth, looking out over a ramshackle little village of tents and sticks. Ah, uh, quite homey. I do not spend much time on the mundane nest, but I must say that uh, so far, I don't like any of it except for this tiny little village oh well thank you it's it reminds me of home which is quite it nice. also appears to be snowing in the village which is oh. slightly unusual and yeah. looking up there's no cave above you oh it appears to be this big open sky with oh. snow falling from it hmm. oh, i forgot i how think weird magic can be as <laughs> uh, so i tell you this i very much like the gate experiences i have as a wanderer myself i have been across many planes and sometimes you just don't know when you go from one to the next yeah this is my first time moving through a plane uh i mean i guess i moved through like like length and distance and all that stuff i was supposed to learn in school but like this is the first time i've like teleported so you, I, you I know, know you're handling it very well, sir. Very well. Congratulations. Your I think first most... non-Euclidean plane. I think it's I think it's mostly because I don't quite know what's going on with all the stuff, and I think if I thought about it, I probably would be freaking out. But I'm <laughs> I'm just not thinking about how this is happening. So we're all good. Are, are the others coming? Yep. Yep. Benny following through. Jim, what are you gonna do? I'm gonna go through. I'm gonna follow. Um... Cobalt. All right, so the dwarf and the half elf, uh, yeah, Fenny, it's, it's not a lot of fun going behind the dwarf. It has an aroma. Be worth research. <laughs> uh, leaving only Darius in the gift shop on his own. Oh! Um, good shopkeep. Do you have either a very long ladder or a rope of climbing? Uh, yes, very long ladder. Also have a folding ladder. Ooh. Yeah. Really? We'll go double How size. Small does it fold? But only one way. If you try to fold it other way... Um, it break. Yes, no, no, I'd it, it fall down it. and then it, it close on your head like crocodile. Oh, like deck chair. Yes, yes. I have a yes. cursed deck chair <laughs> of mm. much finger snapping. Yes, is is ladder like this? Mm. How much for ladder? Uh, folding ladder or regular ladder or folding. rope ladder? Ooh, rope ladder. Mm. Folding ladder. Folding ladder is is six gold piece. Okay. Pleasure doing business. Thank you. I will now go through your ridiculous cupboard. Uh, yeah, he gives you a ladder that's um, about 10 feet long and then hinged so that you can unfold it to 20 feet long. Ooh, I like that. I will take that. A 10 foot pole under one arm and a 10 foot long ladder under the other. And, and I've got, got a go. backpack. <laughs> I'll be fine. <laughs> So finally, the rest of you, you've entered this weird snowy clearing on a mountain, it would seem, by crawling through a cave in a cupboard. And you've come out at this cobalt village. Uh, by the time Darius has come through, two 
kobold warriors with spears have come running up and they've seen Ness and they, they seem a little bit more relaxed having seen Ness. But they're looking guys. at the rest of you like you're a little bit shifty. Guys, be careful. These guys look like professionals. Please tell me they just have like two sticks with like knives. Yeah, yeah, they've got they've got sharp sticks to with them. like <laughs> sharp rocks attached to the end yeah. of them. But to Ness, these are like grand warriors. I'm, I'm going to do the full tautological um, entrance oh, of the, God. the rumbling and the loud voice and the thunderclap behind me going, PUNIES! Welcome us as your new gods. Oh, I'm starting to, I, uh, I'm starting to see why I, you failed on the pit. Or yes. The pit. Uh, yeah, I, I don't, definitely don't make any aspirations to uh, godhood. Ah, no, the gods humble this rabbit god. It oh, sounds you, like so much work being a god. You, I don't you know. Have, How about, oh, sorry. Sorry, what did the cobalt say? They said seventh new god this week. Yes, yes, seventh new god this week. Oh, we oh week. week. Oh this my yes, yes. You are leader of these people? Yeah. I... Yes. No, yes. no, not yes. not you, not you, big muscle man. You cannot be leader. Why yes. not? Because you do not have blood of dragon like mighty leader here. Look, he wear clothes and everything. Yeah. Him exactly. clever. Yes, we dress Wait. up dancing <laughs> dragon in clothes. We now have thoughts about what everyone else is doing. <laughs> well, they're wearing sort of your traditional kobold rags, whereas because you're sort ah. of third level, I kind of imagine that okay. you probably have, like, armor or clothes yeah, or yeah, something yeah. Oh, a bit yeah. more. Oh, yeah, you'd get that for starting out. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. High for arms up to do. So my sleeves fall down and show, like, my, my slightly scaly skin, because sorcerer with dragon blood so i'm like oh, oh. Oh. yeah he's co he's co-leader yeah yeah like it's it's a it's a it's a like a, a cooperative kind of thing we're okay. co -oping. they they you both know, put their spears down over the over a patch of the ground and they okay walk around walk around okay I'll walk and around you them. suspect that that probably means that there's a trap buried Which there. one of you was oh. good with traps? <laughs> okay. That's probably why he got caught as a thief then, because he didn't make that. Oh, okay, this is good. Oh, uh, traps, yeah. That. Oh, them. Oh, my God. They had, like, a little bell at the front of the door that he pushed open and immediately, <laughs> no. like, oh, as a thief. Ah. Oh, oh thief. <laughs> Come to rob you. So, it is okay. snowing. Does it always snow? Only in winter. Oh, let me Just sense. checking. Is there any moment when the whole world shake and it snow much more? Their eyes kind of go really, really wide and they look at each other and then run away. <laughs> oh. I have this effect. Hey, 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 Harvey, remember when I said I think my brain's coping with all this travel? Yeah, I think it's almost about to break at that, at that scene. <laughs> ah, it, it'll be okay, Ness. It'll be okay. You'll do fine. Have, you know, have none of you been to a snow globe plane? No, 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 no. This no, great no, magical not. trap oh, you're no, sealed no. within giant board full of oh, snow. No. And great wizard will shake with his giant hand. No? Nobody? Oh, mm. okay, just me. <laughs> It does sound like a very fun trick, but no. It's very fun, full of traps. So the kobolds have retreated back into the, the little tent village, uh, and other kobolds are coming out of their tents and, and sort of milling around and muster, mustering as much as kobolds will muster in that they're picking up spears. That's mustering, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I would say so. <laughs> Probably. Uh, and then one of the kobolds comes out, and it has wings. Oh, that's coming out of the lady. back of it, it's wearing a robe, and it has these wings, and it opens up its wings. And the other kobolds all calm down and sort of kneel on the floor in front of. Um... Is that a dark crystal reference you just made? I do. <laughs> no, that's a okay. Sorry, Pathfinder reference because we decided that the winged kobolds in Path of the Pilgrim were the. The queen kobolds, do you remember? Yeah. Oh. Yes, but that yes. was also a dark crystal. Reference. But yes, also yes, a dark crystal. Reference. Sorry, I yeah, apologies, I've forgotten the part of the program. But um, okay, right. Didn't Should see be... that. It's a wicked kobold. How is it? Oh, I'm liking the cards. The cards are fun. 
And the others all seem to sort of calm right down. Okay. That's when when she comes out. And, and she sort of beckons you lot over. Over to near the fire. And stands up on a, a box that's got some other bits of wood nailed to the outside of it. Like a very badly made pulpit. Oh, okay. Uh, Ness, you're up. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm going. I'm just trying to like I'm suss pushing the Ness si- forward. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just sussing the situation because when people, when a, when a figure in robes appears and calms everyone down, sometimes that's a good thing. Sometimes that's a bad thing. So I'm just, I'm just trying to. Hey, you know, kid, uh, my boss used to be an angel. Don't fuss. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> I lost the fight like, with him. Puff his chest. Yeah. Up. And he's going to say draconic. Hello, we Do some song are, lyrics. Yeah, well, we are uh, a bit lost, and it would be very nice if you could give us directions. But if you can't, that's also okay. Uh, yeah, can, can you give us some directions? He's hopefully saying that towards the winged one, but maybe if if they ignore him, he'll just talk to one of the other ones. She she looks kind of directly at the five of you. Oh no. <laughs> Slight puzzlement on her little koboldy face. Probably the, you're probably the only one that would recognise it as a puzzled kobold expression. And she says, hmm. I can't help get the feeling that they're going to kick off in a minute and kill us all, or try to. I. Don't yeah. kill me. Uh, so, no. you, first, you are a great traveller from Holincliff. Yes. Mm. Yes. Uh, one of you say to be gods. Uh, if, you, if, if I'm speaking personally, I think I think they have a god complex. Uh, so like it's yes, not, not would be god seventh complex. god this week. Up on the back uh, of head pop. of Ness. Oh, god, don't whisper. They they, well, they come through well, hole in cliff. They complex, say we are so god. Just... Uh, and then we say, whispering. oh great god, please rid us of terrible nightmare monster and then they never come back ah uh, yeah yeah i find i find uh turning like giving people the title of god tends to make them not want to come back uh at least that's my experience of of like gods yes yes uh yeah but, oh, there's a giant monster you just described there. I should probably focus on that. Yes. Wait, wait, yes. I'm getting something from the station. <laughs> Is it a monster you say? Uh, the Weaver. Oh, ooh, that sounds Yes, the Weaver scary. is a terrible nightmare monster. Um, ah. Catch and eat kobold. Very bad. Ooh. And worse. Worse? Worse than being eaten and digested? What, what's worse than that? We even make carpet. Oh, are they, are mm. they those horrible ones that people are like, take your shoes off when you come in, and you take them off, and the carpet's all like, oh, and you're just, your feet are like, no. Maybe Do not wear tough. shoes. And no. That is, yeah. But Weaver, Weaver is terrible monster, eats kobold young, and make carpet. Okay. But just to clarify, uh, Har- Har- Harvey taps on Nessa's shoulder. He's like, uh, part, "Pardon me, but for those of us who who don't speak Draconic, oh, okay. um, are you negotiating a way out of here for us?" Well, to, okay. Well, I'll speak in common now, which they probably can also understand. Okay, so here's the, the gist of it. So lots of people come through here like us, and the kobolds ask for help, and I think they look at them as gods but i think that might just be a way to butter them up to to get them to kill the monster i don't i don't know how serious they are about that uh, there's a big monster yes monster. it's called the weaver oh and it, and it eats kobolds how many and also legs makes carpets i should have asked that how many legs does it have in draconic again uh, weaver uh, weaver have two leg oh okay mm. that's a lot less it has two legs or yeah. sometimes four leg or or four mm. oh oh so please it have three. two leg in morning and yeah. four leg <laughs> yeah, about exactly lunch time yeah. and then three leg in the evening the real the real no not not three was... leg two leg or four leg okay but oh oh four leg oh. at front so six leg oh okay mm. okay 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 I, I think we need to kill this whatever it is it is not normal 
Neither are we. So who am I to judge? So my, I guess my second question is... How much uh, will you pay us? Well, well, no, I, I don't know how to ask this question because it's a little bit rude because if people have just left, unless that's a euphemism, like the, the other adventurers went to the farm. Yeah, exactly. It, it sounds like we could just leave, but that feels really cruel. So I'm trying not to, I'm also trying not to freak them out by saying, hi, ah, yeah, do you know where the X is? We're not going. We're just... If you kill Weaver Monster, then yes. we know you, true hero, and we tell you secret way. Oh, ah. okay. Yes, we can tell well, you secret yeah. way to Stabby Cave of Screaming, or secret way to Giant Creepy Crawly Good for Eating. Well, that second one, I like Good for yeah. Eating. It, it mixed messaging, <laughs> I'm it, feeling. Well, yeah, it's, it, it's okay. Okay, okay. Right, so where does this monster dwell? And how do... Uh, and monster like... dwells in wood at foot of mountain. Okay. Where, where is mountain? We're on mountain. This oh, mountain. Oh, Look, this see? Mountain. mountain go up there. Yeah. You come from clay, from holy cliff. Yes, because we are holy, because we are God! No, yeah. because holy no, cliff no, is no, magic. No. Did oh, you okay. not feel the thunder and oh, hear the rumble? Okay. Interesting. So it's it's the, the the cliff or the mountain has a holy site and it's more like... Yes, mountains have, spit out yeah. um, wannabe hero. And Excellent. then wannabe hero claim to be God and then God get killed and eaten by Weaver and yes. not actually hero. I okay, not want to be sense. hero. You shouldn't oh. claim to be a God then. I want to save you all. Good, oh. then you will kill mm. Weaver. Uh, yeah, let's not, not that way. cross the dice. Yeah, let's not <laughs> do that right now. Let's kill the weaver. Or at the very least, tell the weaver to stop. Uh, yes, I, I think perhaps, you know, perhaps we just talk to the weaver. Maybe the weaver just needs a new location to weave hit their rugs. Right? Yeah. Perhaps they just come with us. That's also why I got caught. I, I didn't know that they were a, like a shoes on kind of place. I took my shoes off at the door when I snuck in and they kind of they saw them and it was it was it was awkward. Sorry, I, I'm, I'm finding all this shoe talk quite exclusive. I I do not have shoes because I do not have feet. Oh, oh well, we should have uh, got some at the gift shop. No, I have not. Just... Look at oh. Darius's feet without making it look like I'm looking at Darius's feet. Oh, I have four, very four, sexy four. calves and then hooves. Harvey looks down at his feet and real and is also not wearing any shoes because he's got rabbit's feet. He's like, hey, pointless. You walk around in your bare feet for long enough, like three or four years, or maybe five or six. Yeah. Is Fanny yeah. the only one? Am I the shoes? only one sensible <laughs> yeah, enough to wear footwear? It's two of you. Two of you have shoes. Yeah, I, I wear shoes, but I just you take them off gift. in houses. That's you know what? I have been called worse by. Imagine the by cobalt had to have their shoes specially made, though. Yeah. Well, they, I mean, presumably they have the whole kind of three-toed dragon guess, bird thing yeah. going on. That's fair, yeah, I guess. Uh, I never considered it. Uh, okay, right, so does it come out at night? If it's a nightmare, do we need to be sleeping? Or is it just, is this all like... No, if you're you sleeping, listen? it will kill and eat you. Okay, cool. Well, we won't do Unless that, you can fight right. in your sleep. Are you a dream warrior? Yes. Oh, no, what? no, 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 not even close. Mm. You know how to find monster in woods, or you need guide? I'm quite a good tracker myself. Yeah. I mean, I could probably get us there. Okay. The yeah, nice could... smelling bunny is useful. Yeah, we we don't we don't want to put any of you guys at risk. So you just stay here, and we'll go get this monster a talking to. Good, good. Yes, talk to. Uh, to uh, 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 questions. Uh, um... Yes, please ask for distinguishing signs and likely bait and mm, killing habits. Okay. Mm, okay. Uh, ha how, do we, okay. how do we find it? Oh, yeah. Does it have any tracks? You just follow the white rabbit. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm I'm boom! boom. To, be, to be fair, I imagine this thing is going to leave obvious hey, tracks. Hey, if you Maybe go hunting rabbits, you know what you're going to find. Oh, yeah. Uh, is there anything else you can tell us about the monster before we need to go? Yes, nets. Anything? It makes nets or we need nets? Makes nets, throws nets, okay. catch cobalt in nets, uh, like to um, munch and crunch and suck until dry like raisin. Oh, can oh. we borrow some cobalt for bait? No. 
No. <laughs> you have iron cobalt. <laughs> Fanny, quick as a whip. Well, we've got cobalt. Why? We don't need. To. Oh, we have cobalt. Okay. Forget yeah. I asked. I'll be I'll be the bait. That's okay. I don't want to put any of these. I love the fact that I'm people. asking through Ness. Yes. <laughs> I can't talk to the cobalt. Weaver hangs nets in tree. Okay. For to catch cobalt, and sometimes we'll throw cobalt also. So we're, we're throw web at cobalt. Okay, we're looking for a, a very very upset spider that's lost half its legs, yeah. or 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 a four. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know Angry I'm arachnid. Yeah. Yes, four legs at front, and two legs four at legs back. Four legs at front, two legs back. So it's got. That's a beetle. Or yes. a centaur to a handstand once. <laughs> uh, oh no! Wow, oh no, really? I mean, oh, genuinely, no, druid. Dru druid, druid uh, friend, does this sound familiar? Well, I know a druid who turned into a spider once, uh, and he changed back, uh, and he was an elf, yeah. And uh, his, his ears had got eight legs on him each. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. oh. Was that intentional, or was that... Was no, that no, it, it, it's because it's the way spiders work, yeah. Because oh. they're very sneaky and very sort of airy and very leggy, yeah. <laughs> that that okay. the legginess sticks with you on the change back. So yeah, yeah. Oh. You either end up with about fifty eyes in the middle of your forehead or a few legs. Wow. That is fascinating. I I did not know that fungal. Oh, okay. no. wow. Okay. I would question the fungus. Did you, know, that did you also know that there is 60, 68 uh, species of spider? In the uh, in, in the world. Oh, that's not as many as I would have thought. But no, okay. no well, you see, this is this is it. Yeah, it's because uh, um, uh, they have this special ability. Yes, yeah? so most of the spiders do, but uh, most of them don't know how to use the special ability. But only the clever ones do. Okay, and that is that they can mirror themselves. So it looks like there's far more of them than there actually are. But there's ah. only yeah, sixty-eight species. Of which there's 501 actual spiders alive, <laughs> oh. and the rest are all illusions. Well, not well, yeah, yeah, but it's working out which ones are illusions and which ones are the actual proper ones. Yes, but then let's... that explains why I try and splat one that there is nothing there after I lift my mighty well, this red is, ball. The thing you see, because mm. because it's the illusion. magic. The illusion magic that they use is that good that when you splat one and you kill it, it looks like a dead spider. So you don't oh. really know killed one or not. Well, then, but don't worry, I've got spider sight, so I'll be able to tell you which one is dead <laughs> or not there. Right. Excellent, go. then. Let's go find this weaver. and I'm going to follow the rabbit and the ambulatory mushroom. <laughs> Off we go! <laughs> da, da, da. <laughs> A rabbit, a stone, a mushroom dwarf, and a kobold walk down a hill. <laughs> Someone needs to play rousing heroic music. <laughs> On a ukulele and a kazoo. Cue the band. <laughs> right, let's make yeah, a roll can, for I, something. I can, I can, we, we've we've been at this for an hour and we haven't rolled for anything yet. So let's have a roll from Harvey for trying to find... Do you want uh, survival to track or perception to... Perceive. I think survival. I think survival is probably the one to go for. Jim, if you want to make a, a knowledge nature check, you could absolutely do that as well. That's what I was pushing for, but then he went stoner on me. <laughs> oh, that, so I, uh, uh, Harvey got, got a Harvey got a fourteen a on the dice and a, a nineteen in total. <laughs> and, oh, and you rolled wow. a three, Jim. No, yeah. he's already answered. I think basically. <laughs> yeah, that was indeed his answer. Yep. So Harvey leads you down into the trees and it's kind of a pine forest on the side of this mountain. It's turned a little bit chilly now that it's dark. Certainly chillier than the gift shop was and certainly chillier than Southdale would be this time of year. Harvey uh, has pulled his rapier out and is uh, as he's tracking along because he doesn't want to be caught unaware. No, that would be bad. So, so just... I, I mean, I don't know you guys that well, but were you guys like joking about the bait thing, or, or was that? Or was that oh, serious? of course! Oh, no, no, it's not. No, of I'm course. Rubbing not him with garlic. <laughs> <laughs> there is, there is, there is. <laughs> uh, <With> pepper. 
What? Darius Sorry. is clearly just a practical joker, and yes. I deal with them all the time. Yeah, I spent I've years been, playing okay. D&D of actually spending some of my starting money buying weird stuff like pepper or aniseed. Well, no, yeah, now you could use it for, for making an appetizing bait. Yeah. Okay, if I had pressed well. the digitation, I'd be making them smell tasty as well, but I don't, <laughs> or, unfortunately. Or throwing it in people's eyes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Also works. I mean, you throw anything in someone's eyes, they're probably not going to be happy about it. Yeah. I don't know what Rocks, substances hammers, people like. Yeah. Bricks. Cobalts. Co exactly, yeah. Maces. Yeah. yeah. Maces. <laughs> <laughs> I've got mace in the face. Oh. <laughs> So before too long, Harvey, you, you managed to track down um, that a number of the trees have got these sort of three clawed slash marks in them to mark territory. And then shortly beyond that, you start coming across webbing in the trees. Uh, at first, fairly thin webbing, but gradually getting thicker. So you've got these thick rope like strands of super strong web crisscrossing the trees here and there making movement quite tricky sometimes you have to even saw through them to make progress and every so often you hear this sort of clicking sound in the distance this kind of noise i hope you managed to catch that through my pop screen actually that was pretty good yeah it was pretty started yeah i'm now thinking that we should be masking our heat signature <laughs> well, and that's the totally what were different. All the that's... things you just said. <laughs> okay. Not. Uh, not like hissing. No, it's it's. Yeah, no, the distinction's got, yeah. not really coming through. It, it's yeah, very much a clicking sorry. sound that you can hear. Okay. How can can anyone else hear that? Yeah, oh yes. I can hear yes. that. Who I here we're is getting close. learned? Who here is learned about foul beasts? That'll uh, be me. Anyone other than the fungus? <laughs> well, I... Tim, do you want to make bit, another but... knowledge nature check to see what you can pick up? Oh, well, this two involves a stick bean, so let's just see what I add on to that. Um, nature plus two. Um, so that is 18. Nice. You estimate there's definitely something spidery going on here more than spiders though um the yeah. the web's too big it doesn't match up with giant spider species that you know of as well um there's something spidery that's not a spider that's that you think the clicking noise is probably some kind of mandible based communication you can't exactly put oh. your finger on what you think it is okay I okay yeah, it's uh, definitely there's, there's spider defi related. Yeah, there's definitely spiders here, and there's something else. Um, and I believe it to be a sly ant. Uh, half sorry? slug, half giant. <laughs> oh, that's um, I've never heard I've, of I, them. That is that is. Is it yeah. the horned sly ant? No, no, the, uh, no. They're, they're the legs standard. slightly close together, and that's why they click. Because when they move, the the sort of feet click on each other. Oh, Very I was I was cobalt. definitely expecting a spider type thing, not a. Oh, no, 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 no. He's got spiders with him, so the oh, spiders okay. and slime. Oh. oh, okay. It's like a. It's like a. It's like a like a a group of them. Okay. Uh Hmm. I'd just like to look deep into his eyes and do some sort of insight check. <laughs> I don't want to get that close to him. Because I think he's stoned out of his mind. It's fine, I got him too. <laughs> All you see is the shrewd light of true genius yep. in his eyes. Yep, I, I utterly believe, oh, uh, Fungal. It started off... It started off pretty reasonable. Like, yeah, there's spiders. Oh, okay. And there's also slug centaurs. Oh, <laughs> oh okay. Well, I, slug giant hybrid. So presumably the sly ant leaves two great slimy trails behind it, and we should watch out for those. Just one. Well, well, Darius, I will, Darius, I will definitely keep my eyes peeled for this trail, but I think we should just proceed deeper in. Yes, keep your eyes fixed on the ground. That is clearly where the danger will uh, come from. Okay. No, no, they're, they're, they're only slugs from the neck upwards. So they have... F what? 
Yes. So, so the head of a slug, but the body of a, of of a, a giant. giant. Is yeah. Fungal actually growing mushrooms? Because I think at this point, Garrett's I think he's probably growing them under his eating. arms. <laughs> okay. Not eating those ones. So, so Ness is like looking up and down, up and like trying to maintain like. Uh, okay. All right. So anybody who is trying to look for something that isn't a sliant can yep. make a perception check. Okay, I, 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 will, I, I will won't because I failed check. my insight. I, I got, utterly I, focused on Slyon. I got an 8. I got a 12 with plus 7 mm. makes a 19. Oh, 19. God. Natural 20 plus 1. Oh! Whoa, 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 marks it to the marks. <laughs> well, Aaron... I see a Slyon. <laughs> <laughs> there it is! <laughs> Aaron and Leon, you face. both Shit. catch... Uh, I, hunched over a hulking dark shadow darting above your heads along the webbing looks like it's moving at full speed but it, it's sort of lumbering along like almost like a caveman troglodyte not troglodyte because they're lizard things in this but in like a caveman style hunched over way definitely humanoid two upper limbs two lower limbs i speak up in sylvan uh, my, my dear friend, would you care to come down and converse with us? Uh, right, let's have initiative then. Because... I just realised what these are. <laughs> they hate oh, Sylvan. Oh, God. Yeah, they uh, do. Well, yeah. Ness, try to make yourself look untasty. Oh, I, oh okay. I've, I mean, I smell like Twenty-two. Natural How 22. much? 22? Nice. Natural 20. Nice. I got a unnatural 20. Got a maths twenty, is what we call that. I I got a. I got twenty two because I got naturally, <laughs> and then I get plus two. I got a. I got an unnatural five. <laughs> That's very unnatural. Leon, uh, fourteen plus two is uh, sixteen. And everyone's really good at this making characters, but. <laughs> Because, <laughs> uh, you know, a dex based ranger, he gets plus five to his initiative. Yeah, oh, Heron Gons, so, yeah, Heron Gons get proficiency with initiative. So, oh, like, they're God, fast. That as well. Wow. Yeah. yeah. All right. So, 22 is first up. Um, My keen danger senses are tingling. Uh, because you, you spotted these things, you can see them in the trees. They're, if they're not closed with you, they are at range, but you can go first. That's fine. We can do right. Oh, Sharadel, oh. if you could switch your ukulele and kazoo music over to some kind of um, Final Fantasy combat sound. That'd yeah, be we great. need battle music now. Diddly diddly uh, diddly diddly. What are we facing? Umber Hulks, if I'm not mistaken. Nope. No. Oh, okay. Ever, no. Ever Etta Caps. Oh, Etta Caps. the other ones. Oh, I love them. I never get to play with oh, I don't want to kill them, though. And they're up oh. the tree, you say. And they're up in the trees. I hope this is a combination of two different cure songs. Can I climb a tree as my move action? I don't have a climb speed. Are you on 22? I am on 22. Then yes, you... you can climb a tree. But I'm trying to remember how movement speeds work if you don't have them. Uh, I think this evening movement speeds work fast and loose. Make okay. an athletics I can roll check. on athletics because I have lots. Oh, okay. Um... Because I know it's like with swimming, it's like, no, you can swim, you're just... <laughs> it's, not, it's not that you just, like, sink instantaneously yeah, the minute you go like, in water. Yeah, you just I don't think have it's a like speed. A, I yeah. think, um, I think climb speed is, like, half speed and swim speed's a quarter speed, but that may be oh. Pathfinder I've first 23 edition. on okay. athletics. If it oh, well, never mind. Well, you yeah, kind of fling yourself yeah. into the trees <laughs> and, like, bolt up them nimbly like a mountain gazelle. Yeah, there's a lot of... Oh, 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 oh. Well, that Darius is quite adept at that. Might flip onto a branch. Go, ha ha! Oh, Hello. Uh, suddenly, you quick. become aware of these two treetop figures that are up there. Now that you're on the same sort of plane as them, two hulking, hunched over spider person hybrid creatures. <laughs> they don't have six legs. But four legs are at the front. Um... I will call out in Infernal and go, If you are friends, then stay your hands. If you are not, then I will take your hands. <laughs> and I Seems will fair. ready my blade. Um, who's on 20? 
Uh, I am on 20. Harvey's on 20. So Harvey will uh, also climb the tree um, because it seems like the thing to do. Give it an athletics check here. Not my super best, but uh, 14 in total. Mm. You don't get anywhere near as high up as Darius does, even with your fabulous bunny hop. Oh yeah, I don't even I don't use the hop because you can only use that a couple of times a day. Oh, okay. Extra extra ten feet of movement. Oh and, right. Uh, well, uh, plus, you, know, you, you don't want to wear your calf so that's like <laughs> exactly. Really... I mean, that's a that's a pretty significant jump straight up like that. So, the lactic yeah, like, acid builds up. <laughs> it's oh, yeah, it's it sore. slow you down. It really does. It was he's climbing. He's like, oh, he switches over uh, to goblin and then says. Oh, really? I think this is all too much trouble for nothing. I, we'd rather just have a chat with you. Okay. Who's on 16? Me. Me. What do you want to do? Uh, so they're just in the two outer caps up in the treetops. Two outer caps up in the treetops, yeah. Darius has jumped up there. Harvey jumped and Harvey started talking to them. Yeah. I was like, oh. Huh. Oh, yes, interesting. I, I'm going <laughs> to cast Mage Hand for my action. And then I just want to keep it floating nearby me for now. I just want to have my little Mage Hand ready. And I want to look around for... Are there still lots of webbings around where there we are? There is a lot of webbing where you are, yeah. Okay, cool. That's, that's all I'm doing. I'm clocking that. So movement might get a bit tricky if you start getting into trouble. Okay, who's on 13? Uh, that's me, hey. but I was me. Uh, day. Okay. <laughs> oh gosh. I mean, unless I can like acrobatics my way up there, I don't. <laughs> I don't know how good I'll be getting up those trees. Range uh, is fine. Yeah, I do have a bow, <laughs> but I'm a bit concerned how. Well... I kind of want to shoot them. You guys have been chatting with them, so I think I think that's what um, that's what uh next would like to do as well plus i don't think he is just gonna go like murder hobo immediately on these guys so uh what language hasn't been spoken that oh, i'll try draconic at, at this point we're just testing out we're just bombarding yeah. them with different like okay which one are you guys like, how can we communicate yeah well which one do you cool with are, are dragons <laughs> are with you because the sylvans no you didn't like them which is fair enough they can be mean uh, so yeah, I'll say in Draconic, like, hello, um, can we ask you some questions, if that's okay? Uh, it's, it's okay if it's not, we just don't want to kill anyone or get killed, preferably. Thank you. Uh, but I will ready an action uh, with my bow. Okay. Not like not like that, just be like, I've got, I've got the arrow and I've got the bow, just, you know. Like I'm holding a packed lunchbox, like I'm not ready to kill anyone, but I am like, making it clear I have them. A voice from out of the treetops replies to the comment in Goblin and goes, oh. If you give us the kobold, you may pass. What? What's Ew. that? Give, give so, me the teeth lens. What did they says say? That was in so, Goblin. Uh, yeah, so what Harvey was was saying, goblin. Harvey, Harvey turns and goes, Oh, it, it, it'll be all right, fellas. Here, he, he turns back to me and he's like, so uh my my new friends i i don't think we can provide you any sustenance in the way of a kobold he is a dear friend as well however if you choose to travel with us perhaps we can set you up in a new location which is a little bit more amenable to your tastes uh jim what do you want to do um wag profusely <laughs> i'm just gonna wait until anything sort of kicks in fact hold on I'm going to cast Fairy Fire on one of them. Nice. Not offensive. Because no. <laughs> no. who doesn't want to glow? That is very true. I mean, if I had Fairy Fire, yeah. I'd cast it on myself. Oh, yeah. All the yeah. time, yeah. 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 Dancing lights just round yeah. me. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, so saying... oh, sorry. there's a violet light around so one of them starts glowing in the treetops and becomes a lot more apparent. Uh, meanwhile, the the last of them is going to shoot oh, it, some webbing at Ness. It, 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 
It's the uh, other one, the one that's not glowing. Yeah, any creature in the area. Uh, it's a 20-foot cube. Oh, so. okay. Yeah, so he needs a deck saving throw then. Yeah. Uh, what's the difficulty? 14. Okay, well, he makes his deck saving throw then. Hit down as well. Uh, what's your armor class, Ness? Oh, my armor class is 14. So I'm this squirted jet of web lashes out towards you and strikes the ground next to you. Um, Uncanny dodge. He doesn't need to dodge because no um, matey missed. Yeah, missed. It just misses. I'm going to take that as you intentionally missed. Uh, uh, <laughs> I'm not too sure, guys. <laughs> Which takes us to the top of the next round and 22. Well, that looked like an offensive action. So oh, I think it's time to start hitting things. Yeah, I, I'm starting to feel like they're not like we just, you know, we only can eat kobolds because they're the only thing a rem is to. No, we quite like eating kobolds. We have other things we can eat, yep, but we yep, specifically yep. like kobolds. Well, that's good close, enough. close with the nearest. And ah, uh, I'm going to rage actually. Wow, nice. <laughs> no half measures. I'm a barbarian. A barbarian. Um, uh, and um, yeah, no, bold move, bold move. Uh, I'm going to rage. I'm going to rage. And because I'm a, a fun-loving barbarian, I have Wild Surge. So I'm going to roll a d8 and oh, see which yeah. one we get. It's uh, the Wild Mage as a barbarian. <laughs> Stick him up, you all. It's the fun-loving barbarian. Donkulous. Uh, i got a hot six. Uh, that means I'm surrounded by multicolored protective lights. <laughs> My armor class is really now for the got a plus one. You know, rave um, theme. I am Disco Demon. You are um, Disco Demon. Sweet. Disco Demon. Disco <laughs> Demon. <laughs> and you launch yourself at one of the air Metal ball there. appears above my head. <laughs> you can and tell I by the way he myself. uses his walk. I'm a demon man. Ba -ba 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 -ba. <laughs> Bang. And that's a hot 20 to hit. Yowza. That'll definitely hit. Uh, for some tasty 12. Ooh, Ooh nice. Rage, that's a 14. Nice. Um, hooked sword to the etta cap. Oh, right in the shoulder, and there's this gout of icor that sprays out, and he goes, ah! You need to not spray that stuff at my friend. Okay? <laughs> not Steady. cool. Steady, you're slipping. You're slipping into Sense. gun elf. Consent is important. <laughs> I really, I really do hope they're just like, oh, there are so many things we could be eaten, but we like cobalt. Yeah, <laughs> it's good eating here. That's so many other of choices, and you miss. At uh, twenty is Harvey, I that believe. Yep. So Harvey will scramble the rest of the way up, um, and can he engage with one of them? Yes, you can engage with the um, glowy purple one, or are they okay. both glowy purple ones? Jim, are they both glowing or? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Glowing, so yeah. yeah, the other one then, yeah, the one that edge. spit the web at Ness. Okay. So as a uh, as a bonus action, I cast Hunter's Mark. Hey. On, oh God. On the other cap, <laughs> and then I. <laughs> it's I say, a range of power move. I I I, I hate to I hate to, ha to have to take this action, but clearly you are not going to listen to reason, my friend. And he swings out with his rapier. It's an 18 on the die for yeah, a 23 in total to hit. A hit, a very palpable hit. And at, since he hits, uh, it enacts his favorite foe. And because he's third level, he gets dreadful strike. So, five, eight, 10, 14, 17 points of damage. Yowza. You, Fair you strike, Mr. Thrust Bunny. the rapier in between some of the armored plates on its body and do that little twist thing that rapiers are kind of made for. And as you pull it out, there's a little spray of this greenish icor. I do say also, we are we're quite willing to give quarter if you decide to surrender. And I say that Gal. Sixteen. Sorry. I'm used to going last. I always roll so terribly in initiative. I feel your pain. Yeah. Uh, 
So actually, what I want to do with my mage hand, you know, you know what's going on. I want to send it over to some webbing that's somewhere on a tree and start just strumming on the webbing, <laughs> making the mage hand go. And go, oh no, our other kobold friend is trapped in the webbing. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's fantastic. Oh, oh. Roll performance <laughs> or deception, I fail. <laughs> yeah, I think that's a deception okay. that calls for. Okay. But it's like when 20 scurry out. It's like, oh, oh, oh. oh, oh. <laughs> Remember how I'm very socially awkward and I'm not like of these things. <laughs> so I got a total of five. Oh, Two whoa. plus three. <laughs> Look, you... over there, the second kobold that you missed. <laughs> it's trapped in that webbing and is... Not very... But oh, wait, no! Lordy, lordy, I, lord, I am trapped within the <laughs> but, webbing! But, I'm going to try oh, and throw my voice. Me. Oh, yeah, I'm a cupboard, uh, and I'm <laughs> trapped in the webbing over there. Uh, I'll do you I a mean, favor. over here, not I'll over do you there. A favor, over Fanny, here, and I'll say that am. Ness is like, wait, no, but there's only one kobold, me. There aren't any other kobolds where you're just like, ah. Oh. Speaking of other kobolds, on 13, yes. it's Ness. Okay, I have a feeling that i think this for once might be a situation where my pacifism can't as nigh can't really pass because they <laughs> are trying to eat me i don't i don't really feel i have much else recourse yeah but they literally let offered to let the rest of them go if they handed you over yeah, they specifically I, want to eat you yeah i don't i don't think i have really much recourse other than to defend myself at this point so yeah i'll uh i'm gonna shoot an arrow uh, uh probably the one that looks most damaged uh that's actually the one that harvey's fighting that's the bunny one yeah, yeah. actually it doesn't okay. look as damaged the one that you're fighting looks more damaged because you're like smashing it from the outside whereas i will smash you Har harvey okay. kind of stabbed through a little hole and like pureed a bit of the inside well, fair he's enough. also lit I, up I, I, so you might want to go for okay that well they both yeah. are i'll go for it. they both are so I, that's why i'm not too uh, yeah, yeah Jim, okay, jim's fair fairy fire is enough to light them both up I'll, I'll probably go for the, the squishier one then, the one that Darius is pummeling. Sure. Uh, so, yeah, I will... Uh, um, and I get advantage for Fairy Fire. Yeah, okay. Oh, I forgot about that. Thank you. Yeah, for I should have got advantage then. But oh, on. my God. I hit. you got to be kidding me. I rolled the same number twice. I rolled <laughs> a four. Two twins? I rolled a four. A four. A four. <laughs> I was close. I mean, it's a nine with my dexterity. Does a nine hit? Uh, no, no, it does not. <laughs> no, oddly enough. I do that. No. I, I do that thing where I pull the ball back and I go, eh, and it just goes, bloop, and it falls right in front of me. <laughs> Jim. Yes. Bring it home. Yeah, you have lit them up. They're okay, glowing. So we're going to cast the spell. Yeah. Um, I think we might literally we? light them up now. <laughs> no, so, druid spells are all subtle and like chill and calm and nothing no, really dramatic not. ever happens. They're really oh, no. not. That, that, yeah. Yeah, that lightning Na is very Nature chill. Nature <laughs> is famously really chill and yeah. super subtle. like, yeah. It's Nuanced. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, I did did play a, a high level druid once and it was hilarious. Yeah, like yeah, druids are kind of scary high I level. I love druids. Oh, they're fabulous. Oh, they're they're lovely. I love playing them, but it's kind of like oh god, like like I don't know, like a wizard and stuff can make sense, and like a could, fighter does. Oh, sorry. Can one of them make a Constitution saving throw as I cast infestation at them? As it oh. turns out, <laughs> no, no, it can't make a Constitution saving <laughs> oh. throw. Four shit, it got four. <laughs> okay, so it takes one d6 worth of damage, one. <laughs> yeah, and as a reaction, I'm also gonna release some necrotic spores from around my body. That's nice. Okay, for a further. That explains the damage. smell. Yeah. It? So how much that's is five. that? Five uh, damage. Yeah, that's uh, one poison damage and four necrotic damage. Nice. And I'll scratch my arse afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> that explains where the necrotic damage came from. Is that, you, know, you know when it says like how you cast a spell, like somatic and stuff, is there just yeah. one tag which is, that's you know, the... scratch arse? <laughs> Yep. It doesn't specify what the somatic tag is. That's the somatic tag. That is the somatic yeah. tag. Yeah, there we go. 
Uh, right, so the one fighting Darius tries to claw at you with the arm that you've currently kind of got a little bit of leverage on. So it's trying to get you with that arm and it is ineffective. Uh, but it's going to try and bite you as well. What's your armor class? 15 at the minute. So its jaws snap closed right in front of your face. You can see like the drool and the web and the ah. mandibles <laughs> snapping in front of your face. Yeah, we exchange teeth. <laughs> ah. Ah, it does that. Ah. He is one ugly. You think you are ugly? Uh, now, Harvey, the one which you fight um, is also going to try and put the bite on you. That's What's fair. your armor class? 17. Oh, How sorry. It's, it's a claw Harvey? first. Just out of interest. Hmm? How close is Harvey? Because if he's within 10 feet, he gets a plus one from my current sparkly. Ah. Oh, oh, awesome. That's oh, close enough, then. yeah. Then 18. Thank you. It still hits you, I'm afraid. That's okay. And it deals... Six points of damage to you from That's its rude. claws. And as it's latched on with its claws, it's going to bite you as well. But the bite kind of fastens on your, your coat ineffectually. And like, he's got a mouthful of coat. <laughs> Mind the patchwork coat, my friend. It is very important. And that takes us back up around to the top on 22. That's all right. That's okay. I was elsewhere. Um, so we, we've exchanged the... Ah! Ah, uh, hacking. More hacking. A bit more hacking. And there's some hacking, I think. I think hacking is where we're going with it. Hack away. Yeah. Um, uh, I'm going to do all the fun things. Uh, I already have advantage because he's already lit up. So yeah. I'm not yeah. even going to use reckless attack. I'm just going to hit the bloody is... thing. Awesome, yeah. Oh, it really super, is. Yeah, also really good for invisibility as well. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> you are oh, indeed shit. invisible, however. You are outlined with purple fire. Yeah, uh, it's a 20. Natural or? No, unnatural. Okay. That's 20. Uh, well, it's still a hit. A hot... Oh, that's crap. A hot 10. Oh, only 10. Only 10. Oh, sorry, 12. 12, sorry. Raging. Uh, yeah. 13. Sorry. 30. <laughs> <laughs> I can't maths. It doesn't math on top of my rage, so. Uh, yeah, you kind of rip your Kopesh free, uh, leaving its arm flapping uselessly at its side. And it screams out. <laughs> uh, very quickly, nice. It's, um, it's your go. Oh, okay. Hopefully before uh, your computer packs yeah. up. <laughs> yeah, my computer's probably going to die. So I will be as quick as I can. Okay, I'm going to shoot another arrow at one of them. Preferably one that's going to die when I shoot with this super awesome arrow. Awesome arrow. <laughs> uh, oh, wait. Did I, no, I didn't roll. Okay. Wait, I'll try again. Oh, yeah, come on, computer. <laughs> Stay with me. Go. Oh, but it's no. Go. There we go. I got 16. There we go. I had to roll twice. <laughs> I got 16. Today. Yeah, that'll do the job. Yay. Okay. I got nine damage. Because I nice. rolled a six and I got plus three. Yes. Nice. Is, nice. That, is that the one that um, Harvey's fighting or the one yeah. that. Yeah. The one with nine health. <laughs> <laughs> we were going for the one that Darius was going. was. Yeah, I mean, if you were fighting, if you're shooting at the same one, that's the one Darius was fighting. Yeah. Oh, okay, I'll go for the Darius one. Uh, and your arrow takes it right through the mouth, up into the head, and it falls out of the tree with a thump onto I the ground. I had to quit. I'm sorry. <laughs> well played, Ness. Well played. Also well played, but I had to quit. Uh, 
Sorry. I feel robbed. <laughs> They're trying to eat me. I'm still <laughs> surrounded by glitterball effects as I say that and kind of take a pose. Heroically. Um, no, not 13. More like well, dance uh, fever. Uh, 20, I got I got skipped. Harvey got skipped. Oh, you got skipped. Sorry, I skipped you. But that's right. I skipped over everybody so that I could make you sure that I squeezed the guy in. Yep. 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 Thank you. All right. So, uh, Harvey, once again, shakes his head. His floppy ears move about. He sighs and strikes out with his rapier. A three on one die, but a 12 on the other, which makes it a 17. <sighs> That'll do the job. Thank you, Fairy Fire. Kim saves the day. Ooh, this is going to hurt. Uh, it's an 8 on the D8 and a 6 on the D6. So that's uh, 14 plus 4, 18 points of damage. Hang on. Damn, boy! Maths, maths. No. There we go. It's dead. It's not dead. Oh, oh they're no. a little rude. Beefier. It's Fanny, what do you want to do? Uh, I'm going to shoot it with magic missile. Yeah. Nice. Sword that's what yeah. I got. Exactly. Okay. That's, that's, that's what you do. Okay, uh, three D fours, right? I've only got two here. So it's, uh, oh, uh, four and a three and a two. So that's, um, Nine. 12. Twelve. Well, it's plus D4 plus one. Okay. Um, so it's four plus one, three plus so one, your, plus your one. magic missile catches it in the chest and blows the other one out of the tree as well and it lands next to the first one with a little coil of smoke rising from its abdomen Harvey uh, sketches a deep bow and says why thank you sir Finney you have defeated the no etiquette worries. I'm, I'm very good at this <laughs> I'm gonna wave Inside. away my magic hand like it was never there. Like just... who stole my kill? In inside your head, Freddy, you're just like, oh my god, I actually managed to hit. Our <laughs> <laughs> magic missiles auto aiming. Yeah, but I, I somehow always miss. <laughs> <laughs> um... I was ready with the quip and the pose, and then someone stole my kill. Sorry, I I I was just aiming for the one that looked the most hurt. And you, you made that one look very hurt. I'm so I shouting will this take up. the compliment. Yes. And we should talk about your future within the ranks of an organized regime. <laughs> if it helps, they were trying to eat me, so I, I don't, I don't feel like I was out of line. Not, Have you not, considered not us. how the strength of a band of brothers and sisters protecting you against such things would make you feel safer? Yeah, I guess, I guess that's true. Yeah. Uh, Ness, Ness, he is trying to recruit you into a blood war. I would. Uh, oh. I'm just, I, I, please, I have a feeling that is the case. Please ignore the rabbit behind the curtain. <laughs> I'll hold out the cloak. <laughs> oh, oh. Ignore oh. him. Yeah, I have a. I, they gave me a sales pitch for Tiamat, and I didn't. I didn't particularly like that one either. So. Well, you can yeah. anything with five heads is very hard to trust. <laughs> For which, which which face should I talk to? Oh, there's so many different opinions, and just well, I mean, from the one thing. Yeah, anything that says kill this person to make me happy, I tend to get a little bit concerned about worshiping <laughs> said person. Worship yeah. is not necessary. Oh, I know. Oh, no. <laughs> so, theological yeah. discussions aside, you're stood in this clearing. What do you want to do? We're going to go over to the two bodies of the Etikaps and go, uh, so, so which one of these was the one that was eating the kobolds? I, I believe they both them. were, I would think. Well, we uh, can open them up and find out. While, while that's going on, Harvey's dusting down his patchwork jacket and he casts um, heal wounds on himself, or cure wounds on himself. <clears throat> Is anybody... There uh, no, we're all good. I don't think anyone took any damage. Barris is going to check for loot sacks. They don't appear to be carrying anything, no. You, uh... But apparently many adventurers came through here and all perished. Maybe there is something in the webbing. Or a nest. Well, just in case in the future, if anybody gets hurt, I have magic healing slava. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well... 
Thank you to, very much, Fungal. To be I healed, that. you have to lick me. Yeah. I will just stick with my own small healing magic. I've but had I worse. Oh, I, can, I, can, I can dribble spittle over you and, and let that drop on and wipe it with a piece of stick. No, the licking is preferable. Okay. Zariel's so, form of healing is in some ways much worse. Yes, we've lost this. Yeah. Yeah, looks like. It's just a frozen you've got, you've got to You've got to respect his special effects that yeah. has made him leave whilst looking moody there. If, looking, oh, oh, no, there we go. Oh, that's going to gonna make a oh, right now mess of the, of the screens. Yeah. yeah. Do, so do, Harvey do, does do, a bit of a search around once uh, once we get reset. Oh, you can carry on talking. So, uh, yeah, make your search around roll. How many... Uh, uh, um, With a plus also... seven, I've got a plus seven perception, so I got an 18 in total. Wow, I got a hot one. Ooh, nice. <laughs> I got a natural one. I, I have... I cannot even find my hands. It seems perfectly safe. We should set up camp. <laughs> but Fungal, how, how, have you ever come across at camps before? How, how many are often come together? Three, four? What's a... Uh, I know. Uh, 40. 40. But again, like regular spiders, I imagine a lot of them are just illusions and they're not really there, right? So it's, it's probably three... No, 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 these, no, 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 you, you, you mistake what I said earlier. No, that, that's just spider ability. These are, these are proper, um, yeah, uh, etter caps. Yeah. So, yeah, they normally, uh, roam, uh, webbed areas and spidered, spidered areas, uh, keeping out the way of slants. And, uh, yeah, they basically hang around in, uh, groups of 14. God, I forgot about the slants. Gonna look around for slimes. The slimes probably killed the other twelve of them. To be fair, mm, Harvey's me. Harvey's just rubbing his ear, and he's he's like, I I can't say that I've ever seen a slant, or I mean, there are edit caps in the unseelie court, but I've never seen them travel in packs of fourteen. But I've, but I will well, I will I will defer to your greater knowledge, my friend Fungal. Well, to, 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 to be fair, my uh, uh, rather long-eared friend, I've never seen a talking rabbit before. But... Ah, again, uh, misconception, not a rabbit, a uh, uh, heron gone, heron gone. Like hair and then gone, heron gone. Oh, hair and gone. Hair and gone, yes, heron gone. Heron gone. You know, and to be honest with you, I've, I've met very few dwarves i once had a friend who was a bear he was a he was a very nice chap had a bit of a sweet tooth haven't seen him for years i've got they a lot began... of bear friends but not the furry ones yeah they're, they're a cult of druids they, they like to go bear in the forest ah well i don't even Dance know how to fires and things. <laughs> As long as they're finding happiness, I suppose that's all good. Absolutely. I'm horribly confused by the OBS window. Carry on talking. Um, There's a lot of BS going on, definitely. Yep. Yes. <laughs> that's fine. It, it occurs to me that the kobolds are only expecting one uh, weaver. So do we really need to do look for any more? Well question is was this the weaver or was oh, yes. this purely their accomplices oh. if, if this was the weaver then where's this magic carpet that we heard so much about oh that they weave yes i think there is still a nest to be found that there is some greater evil oh. come on we have all heard the bard stories there are the early victories for the brave heroes and then there is the loss of a treasured companion and then there is the striving forth and the finding oneself and the friendship and redemption nonsense and then there is the killing of the great evil and then the looting and the celebrating and then the all going and partying on Zariel's fabulous party realm Yay! <laughs> I, I, was, I was with you there my friend until the last last little nugget of information I... well let's work on that 
Which realm would you like to party on? Well, I do. I, the Feywild is quite nice, and the Summer Court does throw amazing parties. There is a lot of partying in the Feywild. It does. Right, have Aaron, did set. you track anything? And Jim, did you nature anything? I did. I got a no. 19 in total. Okay. On my check. Or an 18 on a check. And, sorry, uh, 18. 18. So I got 14 nature. Okay, perfect. So you managed to track your way back following the webs to a sort of central location that is the mouth of another cave leading into the mountain. Uh, the webs are very thick and dark around there and it takes a little bit of wriggling to get in around them. They're quite sticky still, but they do appear to be losing their stickiness somewhat. Harvey will make his way in since we are down a kobold rogue. He's probably got the best perception of everyone. Okay, percept away. Ooh, not a good roll, but a 16 in total. Uh, 16 is, is quite adequate. How's your uh, night vision as a bunny? My night vision as a bunny is like low light vision. Okay, so okay. You, you can make out in the dim light that's coming through from the starlight from outside that there are a number of skeletal remains, small kobold-like skeletal remains in here. You are also able to pick up some larger remains of humanoid creatures based on the bones you would estimate some humans some elves the odd dwarf here and there maybe looks like several creatures have fallen foul of this location uh, there is a stack of valuables piled up at the back of this cavern uh, bits of armor weapons it looks like somebody's wedged coins into the muddy wall of the cave to make some kind of art piece with the occasional skull wedged in there as well. And there is a, a narrow chimney leading upwards from which you can hear the wind whistling and you get the sense of warmth coming down from the chimney. Like it's what warmer you, up there than it is in here or outside. What do your rabbit eyes see? Well, there's quite a quite a bit of brick brack and some treasure here. I, I haven't really tried to evaluate it very closely, Big but throw, it does appear throw. that somebody mentioned treasure. <laughs> it does appear that all the gods uh, skeletons are here, along with the kobolds, and and there's that chimney there, and it seems to be warmer wherever it leads to than it is here i do like warmer but somebody mentioned treasure no oh, yes yeah, i mean there's uh, bits of armor and things i don't know i don't know if any of it is truly valuable i would like to look okay so Even looking you find vision. that that's the wrong d10 that's the d10 i want there we go so, yeah, you, there's this weird um, pattern on the wall. Somebody's wedged loads of coins in to make this sort of spiralling circle pattern. And the, the coins look to be of various denominations, um, lots of strange coinage that you're not familiar with. But you can quite clearly make out that some of them are gold, some of them are silver, and some of them are brass, bronze, copper. That's the one any of those so there's the equivalent there of eight gold 12 silvers and about 70 copper pieces in a strange spirally pattern yeah removing coins doesn't seem to do anything um fenny yes yes you you have book learning yes i can yes yeah. Strange spirally pattern speak of anything? Uh, let, let me have a look. Before we loot it out of the wall. Okay, uh, I will have a look at it. Um, or can I do any kind of uh, investigation or history or something? I'll conjure a flame. It'd be an arcana roll. I really, have dark vision. I'm a half elf. Sorry, Ben? Arcana more than anything else. Arcana. Dark vision doesn't do colour. 
four, 18, 13 plus five. Yeah. Right, right, there is absolutely nothing magical or mystical about this. It looks like somebody's tried to make a pretty pattern. No, it looks like someone's just trying to make it look good. Okay, take it down the wall. A bit childish, but when you look at this chimney, I go, how, how big's your ladder? Um, 20 foot extended, I believe. Mm. Yeah, that gets some of the way up there. You can't quite make out the surface. Uh, if anything, it looks a little bit like the tunnel that you entered the mountain through. Your Narnian passage, if you like. Mm -hmm. Perhaps perhaps this leads to that other gift shop and the way out. Which a bizarre sentence, but then... I'm going to check the dead bodies a bit more. Uh, they, they're mostly skeletal remains rather than dead bodies. They've been picked clean of flesh and blood and fluid. I'm kind of tapping the skulls, going, anyone? Anyone in there? Anyone want to <laughs> eternal life? Hello? Not, not a lot of punters available in there. No. There's a shiny try. breastplate at the back of the room. Uh, two chain shirts, a couple yeah. of swords, axes. Uh, my my friend uh, Finny, are any is any of this magical? Um, let me. Uh, Sense with my feelings. Have you got detect magic? I, I do I not have, have magic, but you can just do it with Arcana as well, can't you? What have you got, sorry, Alden? I've got magic awareness. Oh right. Yeah, Arcana. Yeah. Okay. Yes, there is a magic item in amongst them. The, the least likely of the weapons is a, a trident that radiates magical energy. Well, oh, that looks like a weapon fit for a tiefling overlord of Zeriel? I, 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 I am not yet an overlord. <laughs> My good friend Harvey, slap. <laughs> <laughs> overlord. Ha! As if I could ever aspire. I will have that, yes. <laughs> <laughs> See, you Which turn back Fenny around boy. and there's Fenny kind of um, fiddling with the trident. Bang! <laughs> <laughs> I relent. <laughs> Thank you, my friend, for finding such a magnificent You're item. Very welcome. Mm -hmm. yes. Har Harvey pulls out his pocket watch. He's like, I really am late. We must. Uh, we must. And he starts making his way up the chimney. Your masters seem most demanding. Maybe we could talk later about one that's <laughs> slightly less demanding. Well, uh, this particular summer lord is, is on a very tight timeline. His lord Kringle has somewhere to go, and I do have to go get a potion for some of his animals. Well, I have it on very good authority that Zariel is on an eternal timeline, <laughs> and there is no such thing as being late. Ah, I... Well, it might be something to talk about if you ever find yourself in the Feywild again, but let's see what takes where this chimney takes us. We should do that. Okay, yeah. so you're just going to try and scurry up there on your own, or are we deploying the, the folding ladder? We are Darius? deploying the folding ladder. So you're going to wedge the ladder up there, so you don't Make have to roll to, to climb up there. <laughs> You, you climb up, and as before, the, this chimney flue um, kind of branches off to one side so that you are out of sight of the entrance when you reach the exit. Uh, and the exit gradually turns into this ornate woodwork square that kind of leads out into this... It, it appears to be some kind of carefully carved side dresser drawer type thing in a tent you come out into this tent and suddenly it's sweltering it's really hot and dry um, this tent is laid out opulently there are lanterns hanging from the ceiling uh, strong Middle Eastern flavor uh, with this incredible carpet laid out on the floor ah we were warned about carpets Ah, that's oh, what, work. what does it look like the carpet's made out of? Uh, the carpet is made out of some kind of silk. Okay. Ornately woven. It's a thing of great beauty. Is it magical? Oh, yeah. <laughs> and I'm going to 
Vanessa's words earlier, I'm going to take my shoes off before I step on the carpet. <laughs> Jim, what do you want to do? Mongrel? I don't know. Yeah, I'm going to go and rub my feet into the carpet. Okay, so while Fanny's taking his shoes off... Claiming ownership. Fungal goes and rubs his bunion-y, hard, calloused feet all over this carpet. Put my shoes back on. Actually, that is so much better than what I was imagining his feet were like. So I'm actually That's quite fair. happy about that. That's a magic carpet. Yeah. Oh, well, Finny, do, do you have any <laughs> idea? The do, carpet. Do you know what this carpet does? The carpet retaliates. It slaps him in the face <laughs> against it, this it, incursion. Uh, 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 I think it might be a magic carpet. Huh? Yeah, reckon? no, it, it's one of fucking things, isn't it? Like, um, yeah, it, yeah, it's gonna wrap me up and st strangle me here. Rug That's of it. smothering, yes. Like so, like just let it. Yes, it attempts to grapple you as you you climb onto it. Um, what's your armor class? Um, oh dear. <laughs> um, armor class, you say? Yeah. Oh, that's the wrong gap. Uh, my, my lights aren't still on, so no bonuses. Sorry. You've actually got a pretty good chance here, Jim. It's not its best roll. I mean, unless your armor <laughs> class is absolutely toilet. Which it probably is, because he's a fungus. <laughs> Eleven. <laughs> it Ooh. hits you, I'm afraid. Like um, I said. The, the, this carpet spirals up and around and your your fungal friend disappears into its folds as, as it twitches and writhes around him well we did a wicked did so, we like him jim did you we? are restrained blinded and at risk of suffocating okay so just imagine you're rolled up in a carpet and we're just going to start hitting <laughs> with you inside. We're just going to start beating the carpet. Yeah. Yeah. What else can you do? <laughs> it's probably to the tune of Don't Stop Me Now by yeah, Queen. Really I'm, I'm hoping. I have a magic trident I need to try out. <laughs> <laughs> just piercing the carpet. I don't know what it does yet. All right, let's have some initiatives. one way I can find out. Initiative, you say. 11. All right. 16. I'm doing so bad on initiative. Oh, I get a new rage. Which means I get a new wild surge. 15. How is the bunny not faster than the demon? You got a 10. I got a 10 on the roll. <laughs> I, I'm just, I'm loving it, but I'm astonished. Frankly. Yeah, I, can't, I can't, get a, can't get above yet. Jim, what's your initiative? <clears throat> Um, 16. Nice. Jim is first. Or possibly equal. So the but two 16s. Who else got 16? Darius got 16. Darius got 16. Fungus got 16. Darius, fungus Darius and the first. Fungus have got 16. Who's got the best dex modifier out of the two of you? Plus one. Come on, it's Fungus. It's Darius. Thank okay. you. Go on then, Darius <laughs> first. Uh, I'm going to rage. Because why would you not? Um, my friend has been eaten by a carpet. I <laughs> think. I mean, it wasn't supposed to be the end game boss, but <laughs> sure. Uh, two, two. Oh, wow. <laughs> Sorry. I teleport. Oh my god. <laughs> so you see Dar Darius's rage is epitomized by the fact that he has these sable horns which go up from his head into this long curving point. And as he gets angry and angrier, they kind of light up <laughs> <laughs> until they're fully lit up. And then they go <laughs> and then it activates. Let and it break. Sometimes it's lightning bolts and sometimes it's sparkling armor. And in this case, he just goes <laughs> and then teleports behind the carpet because <laughs> why the hell not Bounce. um and then he hits it with the trident because he's kind of got it in his hands and he doesn't know what he does so, so <laughs> okie dokie so i'm guessing is the usual hitting with things yeah uh which is a 20. A hit. i don't know what this thing does a very palpable hit 
It's a very powerful hit. Uh, on a standard trident, that would be uh, 12. Okay. It, it's the magic e trident, so I don't know what it does. All right, it, it just seems to be easier to use. Okay. Like it's it's made for fighting. Well, this Darius thing likes it's fighting. So that's yeah, good. It, it it flows. It's got a good feel to it. Uh, Jim, you can yes. make a DC thirteen escape check, which is strength, I believe. I rolled thirteen. Nice. You, you can fungal. Fungus's dirty little arms pop up out of the, the rug and he kind of squeezes himself out. It's like being born, Jim. <laughs> yeah. And he plops out onto the rug. Well, not onto the rug because the rug's not there anymore because it was just strangling him. And he sort of lands on the floor going... <gasps> at this rug that was trying to attack him. Uh, Fifteen. Uh... So Harvey looks down at this rug. He's like, ah, foul, foul piece of furniture. You've picked the wrong dwarf to attack today. And he casts his last spell of the day, Hunter's Mark, once again on the carpet. Gets a natural 20 for a 25. Is that double damage? Um, it's full damage on your damage dice. Plus a roll. Yep, got it. I like Pete's way of doing it. Eight, seven. That's 10, 15, 21, 23, 24 points of damage. You pin this carpet to the floor with your rapier. Surrender, furniture! And the... <laughs> The, the pattern on the rug shapes itself into a face. Oh, um, no. It's fraying. It's got holes in. And it, this, this face that appears in the middle says, I yield. I yield. Spare me. <laughs> Harvey withdraws his rapier and he says, well, of course. I mean, that's all you had to say. We, we didn't mean to disrupt your your rest here. Fanny, do you want to do anything? Oh, not now. It said yield. I was going to blast the crap out of it. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, uh, no. I'll deep out the hands. <laughs> Just pull the sparkles back. My thanks to you, Master Harangon. For this, I offer you my service. I shall serve you for a year and a day. Oh, that's most excellent. I I humbly accept your service, and uh, I'm sure we'll get along famously. What is your bidding, my master? Well, I would very much like to find my way back to the Feywild, unless also, you... Also, show know us what... where the treasure is. Apparently, the apparently Darius would like some treasure, but I'm, I'm primarily on the clock, so I need to, you know, get to my destination quickly. Treasure, and then the Feywild. Ugh. I... Like to get out of this hole if we're still in a hole i'm a bit confused but darius yeah. during this whole conversation is teleporting and punching himself <laughs> it's the only way he can keep the rage going <laughs> and he's quite enjoying the whole teleporting thing bam bam oh chasing it's bam. <laughs> if it is treasure you seek you must look upon the ground where i lay and dig down Well, oh, well, all right. I that do appreciate the information. better not be cryptic. No, no, literally. But Darius, if you, if you, so, if you'd like to dig, I don't myself have the rug at this point is kind of just You're sort of levitating. Rabbit. What do you mean you don't dig? <laughs> well, I he's do a, dig, but I mean my, <laughs> my my patchwork coat would get would go quite dirty, and I do I'll have to hold present the coat. myself. Oh, that's very kind of you. <laughs> all right then. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Harvey, Harvey gets to digging. <laughs> so Harvey gets to digging, and 
about a foot down, you find a small inlaid chest. Um, smells quite pleasant that the actual wood itself of the chest smells nice. And it's inlaid in probably platinum by the look of it. It looks like silver at first, but the inlay itself is um, shinier than silver would be after being buried. And it's not locked. So when you open it up inside, there are six stoppered glass vials with coloured liquid in. Uh, this Don't is throw. quite You're interesting. Up. Yes, Fenny, do you have any idea what these may be? Step aside. Step aside. <laughs> yes, of course I do. These are <laughs> um, arcane investigation. Yeah. Arcane, arcana. Uh, 17 out of 5, 22. Yeah, they, they all appear to radiate transmutation magic. Ah, they will but turn they're something all into different something else. colours. And I imagine they each turn one thing into another different thing. Um, spiders, if I had to guess. Oh, well, that's they'll, very they'll turn very... you into one of the the, the six bottles are very different 16. in style. So there's one that is um, sort of square and thick and stocky. Um, one that is this sort of weird fluting shape. One bottle is just gorgeous to look at. It looks like more money has been spent on the making of the bottle than any of the contents. I'll have that one. One of the bottles is um, got this sort of weird glint to it, this sort of you hold it up to the light and it has it goes ding. Another one certainly seems to contain water, but you wouldn't put water in something this expensive. And the last of them, the, the last of them, the stopper is wedged in so tightly that you're not sure you could ever get it out. Well, this is all quite fascinating, Finney, but I... I'm not one to play with the transmutation magics myself. I, I, I think you could, you could each have as many of them as you want. I will simply take the box. Oh, I'll just take random two. Uh, but whichever one's Darius doesn't go for because I'm scared of Darius. <laughs> I'm taking the one that's too pretty for words. Yeah. And the one that looks like it shouldn't be containing water. Okay. And so, I will be stroking the bunny's ears afterwards. <laughs> so you've got the charisma one and the wisdom one. Oh, I know. <laughs> wow. Are there any left? Yeah, there's there's still <laughs> yeah. four in there. Ah, uh, okay. I'm going to pick one up and just shout down the hatch and unstop it and... <laughs> it's going to go for it. <laughs> just a random one or... Love it. Um, yeah. Yeah, it's going back. Yeah, I feel he is doing random. Okay, uh, so you, you, you neck it, and a sudden clarity of thought sort of washes over you. Uh, your, your intelligence is temporarily increased by two. Fungal, this, fungal, what's uh, happened? Suddenly you could work out how to do a Sudoku. <laughs> oh, why would you want to, though? I don't know. Fungal, talk to me. How many fingers? So there's still three in there, Leon. I'm going to take the, the blocky one and the fluty one. The the blocky one is uh, constitution and the fluty one is dexterity. Mm. Which means, Jim, that the last one is a strength potion. But they're, they're, there's one they're... left. I'm going to pour it out for our lost kobold friend. <laughs> Just one for our homies. One for the homies. Just pour that out on the floor. The sand looks really strong for a moment. <laughs> and Harvey takes the box. Master, do you, you wish to go to the Feywild? The I'm so paranoid. Aye, that, Harvey's going to leave that, that, us. <laughs> that, that I do wish to go to the Feywild. We'd By all the way, like what? To get out of the hole. Climb on. First. Well, my friends, would you care to join me in the Feywild? I'm sure I'm it will be quite an interesting time. <laughs> yes. So scared yes. you're going to leave without me. Yes, actually, yes. <laughs> Is that is that is that the uh, which fire wild is this? 
Oh, well, I mean, I, hopefully we'll be going to the Summer Court. Is that all right with you, uh, Mr. Rugg? Or summer Court of you, the Feywild, as you wish. I'll climb on. And the Hold carpet shoots off as the last one of you climbs on. Where we're going, we don't need roads. It can <laughs> show you the world. Shining, <laughs> shimmering, splendid. For a year and a day, and then it will try to kill me. <laughs> yes. So the rug flies off um, out of the tent, which is in the desert, through the desert, into a building, out of the other side of the building into a forest. Very confusing. You go faster and faster. Places seem to sort of zoom past you until the carpet comes to a stop in this bucolic forest environment. It's beautiful. Birds are cheeping merrily. A pseudo dragon flies past. That's not a real dragon. No, it's literally a <laughs> pseudo dragon. <laughs> and you well, find yourselves this... in the Feywild. But that, my friends, is an adventure for another time. <laughs> Where well, we would be French. <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, the name of the sequel when the rug tries to kill Harvey after the year and a day. Thread yeah. Dead Redemption. Hey! Hey! Well played. So join us well on the twenty second oh, of December, twenty twenty two. Thread Dead Redemption. Dead I will redemption. be there. I will. Thank do. you very much, one yeah. and all. Thanks very much for joining us this evening. Thank you guys Probably. so much for playing. Um, it was oh, nice thanks, to play man. something a little bit silly and a little bit fun, um, with zero consequences. Jim, tell us what's happening tomorrow. Well, tomorrow um, is supposed to be a Christmas special for our Once Upon a Time in the Old World uh, uh, series, but the party find themselves halfway through a big fight uh, with a couple of uh, the main sort of villains in it. So we shall finish off that fight, hopefully, <laughs> see where people are, see where it stands. Uh and oh, roll up I, some new characters. I, I am I am going to shoehorn something Christmassy in there. Well, maybe uh, the true the gift way. was the friends we made along yeah. the way. Well, yeah, right. uh, I, th I no, think it's the loot. <laughs> yeah. Well, I think making Mordek bleed a lot, so his his, uh, his armor becomes red. And then, uh, <laughs> That's fair. Yeah. Yeah. But we can make we can make uh, Father Mordek or Mordek Christmas. Um, or more depth, the halls with bales of holly. Hey! Yeah. There you go. You got yeah, it. We, we shall definitely get some Christmas um, representation in there tomorrow. Yeah. Work yeah. it in there somewhere. And, and the plan on the minute. One more episode. So, yeah, the, um, in between Christmas and New Year, that'll be the last one for this season. And then we're going to have a bit of a break. Ooh. Um, and I think that someone yeah. else has got a plan for, for Wednesdays during your yes. break. I think Lewis is going to be running um, Lex Arcana, uh, Lex Arcana, Lex Arcana, oh, Lex Arcana. For, for, for a short while. Yeah. Excellent. Uh, then on Thursday, we are hoping to have another little one shot for you. What it is is still up in the air to be determined. Might be Changeling, might be Blades in the Dark. Who knows? Come along on Discord and let us know your thoughts. In the meantime, thank you very much. We've been Garbler Games. We managed to get a game off this week. All is not lost. And we will see you tomorrow. Thank you. And I've forgotten to open OBS to stop streaming. Good night. <laughs> Bye. Night. Cheers. <laughs>